I'm ready. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to take the next seven minutes to tell you a bit about the secret language of film. Um, and by the end of these seven minutes, hopefully, you will understand um, a little bit about, um, a little bit more about the meaning of the films that you watch. Um, hopefully, you'll be less swayed by advertising, and maybe you can even get a better grade on that next English project. All right, so I'm by no means an expert in filmmaking, so I looked to three directors um, for inspiration and um, as, a, as a way to sort of facilitate some of that learning. Um, and I knew I wanted to make an action comedy film, so I looked at Tarantino, who makes action films, the Coen brothers, who make comedy films, and Edgar Wright, who makes action comedy films. Now, um, when I, when I started watching their movies critically, I started noticing some of the techniques that they use to influence um, how you feel about their movies. And, and this can be anything from making you feel, you know, really connect with the protagonist, or, or make a character feel really small or really big, or just understand more about this character. Um, and I started noticing things like Tarantino likes to make really, really tight close-ups of the face and really show exactly where the eyes are going, or how the feet are moving, and when you start getting to, into a combat, all of a sudden all the, all the action starts getting cut, 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 and everything sort of speeds up. Or when Edgar Wright wants to show that, uh, that a character's really in the zone, you know, that he's doing what he, he knows how to do, all of a sudden it'll turn into this big montage and there'll be this music that, that has a really rhythmic beat and all of the editing will sort of follow that beat and it's, you know, it's sort of like walking in step. Um, but th there are also broader techniques that you can use. Um, if you want to make a character look really big, if you shoot from a low angle, that, that person is sort of inflated. It's like, you're, it's like the audience is looking up at that person from below. They're sort of larger than life, and the opposite is true. If you want to make a character look really small, make the problems look really insignificant, you can shoot them from below, or from above, looking down on them, and that'll make a character appear um, you know, sort of timid and small. Um, but you can also show two characters' relationships. Um, you, you can show how characters might feel about each other by the way that they're staged. Um, two characters that are really close together um, may be good friends, where two characters that face each other oppositely um, may have completely different views on the subject. Uh, an important thing to remember about this, though, is that while these techniques are all really powerful and useful, um, you can kind of think of it like cooking. Using too much of any one thing or too much of anything is a bad thing. Um, in fact, if you've heard people say that Michael Bay is a bad director, this is a big reason why. A lot of people blame him for overusing all these techniques and exaggerating elements of the film that don't need to be exaggerated or shouldn't be. So that's why you plan. Oopsie, now I skipped over things. Um, that's why you plan. So this is the, uh, the blocking for the first third of my short film. Um, and the characters are depicted in these circles. And the lines connecting them uh, show how they move around the room. Now, when I designed this, I tried to think about how these characters might move just naturally, like without a camera involved, none of that. Um, just to get a sense of how they might move around the space. For example, um, at one point, character gets really scared, and he runs from this side of the table all the way over to the doorway, and the other character comes around the other side of the table and blocks him. Now, um, when I did this, it, it gave me, it, it, it A, helped me figure out what the character's emotions might be at any given point, but it also helped me narrow down those list of techniques to what, um, what, would, what would move my story along, um, rather than just sort of throwing in, throwing in things as a way to um, you know, beef up the story. Um, for example, there were two different places where I wanted a character to feel really intimidated. Um, one of them was right here where I knew that this character, these two characters would be very close to each other. And I wanted to emphasize that. But when I did that, I shot it from below and had one character on his knees. So both of those characters were being shot from a low angle, but the powerful character was even higher. He was standing at his full height, he has a gun extended straight to the guy's head. And so it's very exaggerated. It's, it's an exaggerated movement, but it's one that plays to the story. Whereas in another point, the two characters are far away from each other. 
Um, and one of them is, one of the, the, the character being intimidated is sitting down in the chair while the character that's intimidating s sort of stalks around the chair and, you know, sort of walks around the room and follows him. He has this, he gets to stand, the character that's being intimidated sits. Um, now, I'm going to show you the short film, but I'm not going to in a second. <laughs> um, but I want to get back to um, what I hoped you'd learn. So hopefully by now I've shown you um, some of the ways that, um, that, some of the things to look out for next time you watch a movie in terms of what, um, how much thought goes into where the, the, the relationship between the character and the actors. Um, now these techniques are really powerful and really cool, but the same tricks that could make you love a protagonist could also be used to sell you a car. Um, and advertising uses the advertising use these techniques heavily um, as a way to sell their products. Hopefully, if you notice or if if you can see these, um, the way that the way that directors use these tricks, you can um, you'll be less swayed by them. In the same way that if you ask your mother, you know, hey, can I have twenty bucks? You're less likely to get it than if you um, say, hey, you know. I'd really like some money so I can go out and hang out with my friends. So in the same way that you might ask someone less directly, um, you may be less influenced by such advertising. And third, you can use these techniques to get a better grade on your English project next time you have to film something. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, Wait, are you in Ms. Alvin's class? Yes. Okay.